Hey, today we're gonna look at an NFT project that mints 10,000 digital pieces in a throwback to Bitcoin. Mm, I'm starting to get hungry already. Let's go. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You got Crypto Chuck back here with the group Crypto Black. We're back at it again, baby. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, I want to touch on NFTs again, guys. We know the craze going on with NFTs, and it's an NFT project. I think you guys need to check it, uh, take a look out. It was actually pointed out in the DCG chat, man. Actually, in one of the, in, uh, in the chat, and also inside one of the live uh, live calls live calls uh, last week. So it's pretty dope to see it right here making these headlines. So let's check it out real quick. It says the NFT project mints ten thousand digital pieces and throwback to Bitcoin. And if you guys don't remember, uh, you know I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it because I'm not, uh, <laughs> I know it's gonna already come up anyway. So my my will not say it say it again twice. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it says pieces were the first real world item on record to be bought with Bitcoin. Uh, and one NFT project wants to pay homage to that. So you guys see right here, it has the Bitcoin and the pizza. <laughs> so it says uh, rare pieces, a chain link powered non-fungible token project is paying homage to Bitcoin pizza day by selling over 10,000 unique digital pieces is said in a release today. Now it says why pieces are for NFTs. So it says pizza were the first ever real world item to be bought via Bitcoin. As a developer, uh, uh, Laszlo Hanyek paid over 10,000 Bitcoin to purchase two pieces back in May of 2010. The purchase is now worth a staggering $566 million. Now that's a very expensive pizza. Now it says, but it showed that the technology worked and that Bitcoin could be used as a legitimate, reliable form of payment. Now it says, Rare Pieces now wants to pay homage to the day it's looking to sell over 10,000 NFTs featuring digital pieces to fund a giveaway of more than 10,000 actual pieces on May 22nd. Now it says, over 300 artists and 30 developers are said to be collaborating from around the world with so-called um, Pisa Mafia helping promote and market the project. If you guys see here, you can follow them on Twitter. It said, get up, uh, eat pizza Mondays or for grinding, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can't eat no pizza right now because I'm on a very strict diet. I'm on a strict no-carb diet, so I can't eat no pizzas. It looks good, though. Um, I like my just pieces. Just, my, I like my pizza just with cheese. That's it. That's it. I don't need no toppings, none of that stuff. I'm fine. Just, just give me a cheese pizza. I'm good. Um, well, I was like that. I'm on a you know, no carb diet right now. So it says, for the uninitiated, NFTs are cryptographic representations of real world or intangible assets on the blockchain. They help prove the true ownership of their underlying assets and use cases extend from digital art, real estate, cars, to now pieces. Now, from the designs on the boxes to each ingredient of the pieces, all concept artwork for rare pieces have been contributed by volunteers. The designs are being managed by VFX artist Anthony Schaefer, who is being uh, assisted by a team of designers to manage the toppings art distri distribution algorithms. Now, quote says Schaefer is utilizing professional grade motion picture v uh, VFX software to create unique composite images that are intimate uh, uh i'm sorry inimitable by consumer tools bucking the pixel art trend to create visual stunning work of art unlike anything yet seen in nft space the blog stated end quote that says how chain link fits in the ensure each digital piece will be uh, provably unique. How does one trust that all 10,000 NFTs are unique without checking each one individually? Rare pieces have integrated chain links, verifiable randomness function. So VRF, that's what calling it. There's a lot of acronyms going on around here, man. Uh, so it's a uh, as you see from chain link uh, Twitter, said uh, generative NFT project rare pieces has integrated Chainlink VRF to mint 10,000 digital pieces. Um, so it says Chainlink VRFs launched last year, make blockchain application that rely on randomness of both uh, provably fair, 
equally uncertain to all contract participants while also successfully reducing the risk that uh, and adversely could exploit their contract by predicting outcomes. This will help ensure that no two pieces are alike. Now, meanwhile, the rare pieces project seems to have picked up in a big way in crypto circles. The project claimed it sold over $500,000 worth of digital pieces a few hours after launch, adding the move helped achieve the project's first target of funding the donations uh, of at least 10,000 free pieces to the public. The kitchen is certainly going to be busy, <laughs> it remarked. So uh, guys, I mean, I would like to know um, are you guys buying any of these? Have you guys actually got some of these NFTs? Will you be buying it? What kind of toppings you guys going to put on there as well? Like I said, I like buying just cheese. I will be participating in this. I will get some of those pieces, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, put them in my wallet, put them in my wallet and, uh, you know, go from there. But I think it's a very cool idea, you know, getting in on the NFT space. A lot of people are getting in. A lot of people are actually uh, making a lot of money from it, you know. Um, so this is definitely something that I think you guys, uh, 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 I think you should be looking into. I'm not saying to purchase or anything. I said just look into it and see if it's something you guys want to be uh, getting into. But it's just something that I'm definitely going to be getting into. Uh, but yeah, guys, I would love to know. Are you guys purchasing these NFTs? I know I am. <laughs> so guys, make sure you guys click the link below. If you want to, uh, uh, you know, get started in cryptocurrency. Also, if you want to uh, take the beginner's course, visit our website, www.cryptoblack.net. You got, we have plenty of links below as well, guys, to actually see uh, a report that's going to give you the best outcomes that's going on in crypto right now. So I want you guys to click that report. Get that re click the link below, get that report, and then we'll see you guys on the next episode. It's your guy, Crypto Chuck, here with the Crypto Black. We out of here, baby. Make sure you stack your sacks and chill, baby. <laughs> Peace.